The word of God declares in Ephesians 2 and 10, we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works that God has prepared in advance for us to do. God says you have great works to do because God has prepared you for greater. God says he's watched the enemy try to sift you out of your dreams, out of your purpose, out of the great plans that God has spoken over your life. God says he's watched you stop dreaming, stop believing, losing hope. God says he saw you lose focus and became distracted by the enemy's tricks, by his many plots and schemes. He tries to sift us of our thoughts, of those great ideas, those future plans, the purpose, the destiny that God has placed on the inside of you and I. But God says why the enemy believe he's sifting you. God says he's shifting you into greater. God says he's shifting and transforming your mind into believing again, into starting over, into not giving up, into revising those plans, making revision to those old plans that you thought wouldn't succeed. God says, move forward in your greater. God says, while the enemy believe he's sifting you every single day like wheat. God says he's shifting those great plans. He's revising and making you believe again. He's destroying the yokes of doubt, of fear, of less than, of lack thereof. God says, believe and trust in his word. Doubt not, but shift your mind into greater, into believing that you are great and greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. God says, while the enemy wants you to believe that you're decreased in value, God said he's increasing you in victory. Glory be to God. God says he's increasing you in great victory. God says move forward into the greater plans, into those extraordinary ideas, into those exceptional thoughts that only he gave to you because God says you and him are enough. God says you and him are the majority. God says go forward into the victory that he set forth in your life. God says go forth and don't allow the distractions of the enemy to stop you from your greater purpose. Because God says that while you believe it's a sifting, God says he's only shifting the great plans, those exceptional ideas. Now go forth into your greater and start to believe in your greater victory, the victory of Jesus Christ.